With more analysis, joining us live is Victoria Cooper from the United States Studies Centre. Victoria, good to see you. Thanks for your time. This New York Times poll, it's pretty eye-opening, isn't it? Especially for anyone who may have thought that Donald Trump's recent charges, his legal woes would, would turn any voters off. Clearly, that's not the case. Yeah, that's right. This is just more confirmation that Donald Trump has a very solidified uh, lead in the uh, ahead of the Republican primaries uh, next year. We're going to see the first debate for the Republicans in just a couple of weeks, just about three weeks now. And the first primary uh, election is still six months away, but Donald Trump seems to have a very consolidated lead. I think it's 36 points ahead of the next closest candidate, Ron DeSantis, there. So, yeah, quite, quite a, an alarming um, front runner. And when you look at the New York Times piece about this poll, it says that Mr. Trump held decisive advantages across almost every Democratic group and region. It says he led by wide margins among men and women, younger and older voters, moderates and conservatives, those who went to college, those who didn't, and in cities, suburbs and rural areas. So, I mean, it really just shows just how big his, his spread is in terms of attracting those voters. When you look down the list of contenders here, there's Ron DeSantis way below, but then candidates like Mike Pence, Nikki Haley, they've got barely any support. I mean, compared to Trump's 54%, for example, Pence is on 3%, so is Nikki Haley. Do they mm. even continue with their campaigns with that sort of level of, of support? Yeah, that's right. They're not polling too well. I think other than Ron DeSantis, who had about 17% support in that poll, the other candidates had 17% between them. So no, none of those candidates had more than 3% each. Um, but they do continue on with their campaigns and we're about to see them go head to head in this debate. Not all of them qualify for this debate because that would require a really large debate stage and we don't have that much room. Um, but many of them are continuing, well, all of them are continuing on with their campaigns at this point. And part of the reason for that is that Trump maintains a really big lead with a particular base. So that MAGA base is what it's called, Make America Great Again. They're kind of those rusted on supporters and their support of Donald Trump doesn't waver. And that's about 37% of the Republican primary but base according to that Siena poll. Um, and then there's two other camps. There's those that can be persuaded to vote kind of for Trump or against him or for a Trump-like candidate. And then there's those who are never Trumpers that are saying that they won't vote for Trump. And among those persuadables, Ron DeSantis does maintain quite a bit of support, but the other candidates um, can be just as persuadable uh, other than Ron DeSantis, especially for those who are never Trumpers, people that don't want um, kind of that Trump-like policy in um, in the top spot, uh, they might be more persuaded to vote for someone like Tim Scott or Nikki Haley. So definitely still running their campaigns.